Hello everyone, welcome back to Clementine Creative. I am Clementine and welcome back to another video. So this is uh, basically the character that I have chosen to create to digitally paint. It's the last line art I did. I found this character to be one of the most uh, interesting ones. I love the idea and so I decided to um, actually develop it into a uh, into a digital painting. So basically what's going on here is um, the first thing I did is just chose some basic colors. Red and green was kind of my decision. And a lot of this uh, was really just uh, right now adding basic shadowing and working on the entire piece. So this is production Safeway. Uh, remember I talked way back uh, when I started this YouTube channel. I talk about painting uh, in a production safe way. Production safe is working on the entire character. A little by little and eventually creating something um, something presentable uh, now I do start off working on the entire piece but I later on concentrate on certain places a little bit more than the other so uh, you're gonna see a little bit of that so of course the first thing I did was I actually tested out these colors before I decided to do the actual design the reason for that is I didn't want to be color picking the colors on tape uh, I guess you could call it on tape uh, so that's what I did. Uh, if you need any advice on painting faces, uh, I just kind of, it hit me right now. I had a lot of trouble painting face, faces and I still do. But I realized that the reason why I had so much trouble is because I, I was actually adding way too much shadow. I was trying to complicate things too much. If you want to achieve the same art style as I am, uh, basically right now displaying before you, uh, what you need to do is really simplify your shading, especially on the face. The body and everything can be more uh, realistic, I guess. But the face has to be really simple. And uh, that's uh, just something I've learned whilst, whilst studying, uh, I guess, renderings of faces that I, uh, that I enjoy from uh, artists that I enjoy. Uh, Paul Kwan was a big uh, motivation, as a matter of fact. So here what I did was uh, I took this... Um, uh, I. I guess it's a presentation of how wings uh, go in a human arm uh, to be able to throw it in this arm. So basically what happened here is her arm is kind of stuck, uh, I guess on her forearm is stuck on this plant-like um, creature or whatever this is. Uh, this plant clearly has some sort of a life to be able to uh, combine its life form with her. So what's happening is her arm is kind of stitch on it, and I wanted the forearm to be really built, uh, really built for a woman, because I thought that would be an interesting concept to uh, to grasp, like a really built forearm. Uh, it just looked really nice, so that's what I decided to do. Uh, here, just painting in, so concentrating a little bit more on the uh, on the face features. Uh, now trying to throw in um, the eyes, uh, freckles, of course. And uh, just rendering this piece slowly. Um, this piece did take me somewhere around eight hours to complete, which is a long time for a uh, for painting. Uh, but that's just kind of how it went. And the reason why it actually took me so long is I had some trouble with rendering the plants. Uh, first of all, when I was doing the skin for this character, I actually had no idea how I was gonna how I was gonna render the plant. Absolutely no idea, and it was in my head the entire time. I was worried about it, and it just you know, I, I couldn't get my uh, head around it, uh, but I eventually I had to start doing it, and um, I mean, I was semi-satisfied with the result, uh, but later on, uh, I actually made it better, which uh, later on actually being today, I made it a little bit better, improved it, and uh, uh, I like it a lot more now. It's not that different, it's not that different, but I definitely do like it a little bit more now. So, uh, yeah, a lot of trouble was uh, given to me when I was painting the legs. So, the legs didn't work out for this character at all. So, line art is one thing, but when you're trying to paint it, uh, it might not look good. So, these are sort of obstacles that you sometimes run through when your initial design doesn't actually uh, look that great in a digital painting. Um, or maybe you just don't have the skill to paint it. Uh, I definitely had some skill issues here. And of course, uh, but it's not really a skill because it's very easy for me to grasp how to paint something. I just couldn't make uh, the muscles, the ones you see now, the green thing. I just couldn't make it work. Uh, everything looked pretty much ugly to me. So I tried many things, you know, 
uh, the veins, the, these vines or whatever it is going over her legs didn't work, under her legs didn't work. So what I decided is you're seeing now, I actually extended her real leg, uh, made her really buff, so you can see it's uh, a little bit bigger than I, than a, than a, than a, I guess it's not a human leg, but uh, than a leg would normally look like proportionally, because she does have a little bit more muscle there to be able to support her upper weight. So what I did was I kind of took that and added her actual arm and then took the idea from the first concept which is you can see it right now this is the legs from the first concept that combined it now there's nothing wrong with this because of course i created all four line arts uh hell i even created six thumbnails which i later only turned into four um four line arts so i basically created four line arts four designs and none of those were set in stone which means that i could still change them and I decided that this looked better and it did actually turn out to look really good uh, it looked way better than whatever I had before what did happen though uh, I actually forgot to record a part of um, of me painting because I also do graphic design work um, that is something that I do a little bit more for the money and uh, I had to cut in but while I was working. I had to actually do that and this at the same time. Uh, so I lost track of when I was actually recording and when I wasn't. So I'm really sorry for that. So I lost some recording here and there. Uh, but uh, more or less everything is, um, is there. Uh, nothing special here. Uh, I guess just rendering the plants. And I didn't really feel like it was that big of a loss. Uh, because, I mean, it's not that interesting to see me rendering one one and the same thing for you know five minutes straight so you're not gonna miss these uh, this little missing recordings uh, I think that you're um, that you're gonna miss a little bit of upper body work but I'm not, I'm not exactly sure so there are there is definitely some stuff that are missing uh, I love the hair as you can see there you go you've missed an entire left arm and the hair which is not really hair it's uh, actually plant really hard plant leaves uh, her hair is actually uh, made in dreadlocks and it's kind of made to go backwards of course drag loss only dreadlocks usually only go backwards anyways um, kind of like the I guess uh, haircut from Jaden Smith when he was like in in uh, the movie karate what was the karate kid I don't know I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Anyways, um, that kind of hairstyle. So look at Jaden Smith. He's got the hairstyle or something. But anyways, um, here just rendering the cannon. And uh, I was a little bit afraid of tackling it. I wasn't sure what I would do. Uh, well, again, like I said before, line art is one thing, uh, but painting it is a completely different thing. You have to make it look nice and 3D as well. And I think I captured that feeling. Uh, I definitely like what I did. So basically just taking in the line art and um, going away with paint and now I start the rendering process and I think this uh, turned out great. Um, I think I was a little bit lucky here that this turned good but you know a lot of designing sometimes is also really I'm gonna say happy accidents where um, something accidentally pops up and you know I like it. So yeah, this cannon is being now thrown in place. I'm just gonna simply copy it. So what's going on here is I'm adding in fire between her uh, vines, which is something that I initially attended, but I wasn't sure if it worked not or not. So in the at the end, I am gonna put it in. Uh, but at, at first, I didn't think it was gonna work or not. So I actually, uh, I'm gonna say I actually experimented with it for quite some time, but then I said, you know, screw it. And I dropped it and I decided to start doing this other side. And uh, then decided when I finished uh, the entire piece. So I threw this in. This did take some adjustments. Uh, but eventually I got it in. So yeah. that's uh, I'm pretty close to the end of the video now. So uh, I guess I want to thank you for watching my videos. Um, again, you guys are wonderful, beautiful responses to my videos. And I really enjoy reading your comments. So don't be afraid to comment. Um... Thanks for watching my videos and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video whenever that is. It's just Friday. It's always Friday. So if you didn't know it's Friday, now I know it's uh, 
it's always on Fridays. But here's the presentation. Uh, and yeah, again, with that, I'm gonna say my goodbyes. Thanks for watching for the third time. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I think at least that it does look kind of cool when it's kind of buffed. Uh, the reason why I did that is because she needs a lot of lower body, I guess, strength to be able to uh, run and jump and